Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about IPv6. That is Internet Protocol version 6. So the different topics under IPv6 that we are going to discuss today are the first one is about introduction to IPv6. Then second is address format. Third is addressing modes. The different addressing modes which are working under IPv6 are unicast addressing mode. The second is multicast addressing mode. The third one is any cast addressing mode. So let's move to our first slide. It is about the introduction to IPv6. As in IPv4 address space was limited. How much it was? It was 32 bits. So the IPv6 was developed to solve this problem of address space exhaustion. It means that we were having only limited space in IPv4. So we have extended that and we have come up with the new version of IP that is IPv6. Instead of IPv4 which was internet protocol version 4, now we can use IPv6 which is internet protocol version 6. It is the latest version of internet protocol. And it was developed by Internet Engineering Task Force which is IETF. So, why the need of IPv6? It was developed mainly to deal with the problem of IPv4 exhaustion. So, let's move to the next slide. It is about the address format of IPv6. So, IPv6 address is of 128 bits instead of 32 bits, 32 bits which was in IPv4. Now, it is divided into 8 groups instead of 4 groups. So, the next point is each group consists of 16 bits and these are separated by colon instead of dots. So the third point is each group is separated by 4 bit hexadecimal number. So here is the example also given in this slide. We can view that this is the example of address format of IPv6. Here we can easily distinguish between the 8 groups. 8 groups which are separated by the colon and here are also hexadecimal numbers present in bits. So let's move to the next slide. The remaining part of the address format. The fifth point is the IPv6 address is divided into two parts that is network component and node component. So actually we were having 128 bits. Now we will divide the 128 bits into two parts. The first part it will be consisted of 64 bits and the second part also it will again consisted of 64 bits. So first part is dedicated for the network component and second part is for the node component. So again what we are having network component is further also divided. So how it is divided here is the diagram at the bottom of this line. For global network address, we are having 48 bits out of 64 bits. So now, what are the remaining bits out of 64? We will have the 16 bits. Now the remaining 16 bits, it will be for the subnetting on the internal network. It means that some bits are dedicated for the global network addressing and some are for the internal networking. So this is, the, all, this is all about the address format of IPv6. Now what are the different addressing modes which are working under IPv6? Actually IPv6 supports three types of addressing modes. The first is unicast addressing mode, second is multicast addressing mode and the third one is any cast addressing mode. We will discuss about these modes in detail in the further slides. So let's move to our Next slide that is about unicast addressing mode. As its name represent the data will be sent from one sender to one receiver only. So let's read this slide. In this IPv6 host is uniquely identified in the network segment. It means that the destination will have the unique identifications when the packet of the data is sent from sender to the receiver, it will uniquely identify the location to which it has to be sent. 
so the next point is when router receives the unicast ip packet it sends out to interface that is further connected to that particular host so the router will route it properly to which location it has to be sent then the packet will received by the receiver or the particular host so it is about the unicast addressing mode so next we are having multicast addressing mode so again we can understand from its name that multicasting is being happened so in this all the host which are interested in multicast information are joined to multicast group first it means that first what has to be done the host which are interested to get the multicast messages they will be connected in a group then when the sender will send the message every host which is connected to receive the packet they all will receive the multicast packet or message so the second point what the second point is saying multicast packet is received by all the host which are joined by multicast group so this is about the working of multicast addressing mode so what is now the third point the third type of addressing mode that is any cast addressing mode it's a new addressing mode introduced by ipv6 so in this multiple hosts are assigned same any cast ip addresses when a host wants to communicate to host another host we can say with any cast ip address it sends unicast message the unicast message is delivered to host closest to the sender we can say that the sender can have the connection with the multiple host but the closest one the closest receiver will receive the data rather than all of them so this was all about the working of any cast addressing mode so these were the three types of addressing modes so next we are having some of the mcqs related to the same topic so the first question is ipv6 does not use dash type of address and the various options given are unicast broadcast multicast and the fourth one is none of the above so what is the answer for this question the answer is option number 2 that is broadcast so let's move to the second question our second mcq says the size of ip address in ipv6 is and the various options are the first option is 4 bytes then 128 bytes the third is 8 bytes and the fourth is 100 bytes so what is the correct answer for this question this is very simple question so the size of ip address in ipv6 is 128 bytes so the different topics today we have covered are introduction to ipv6 then about the address format then different addressing modes what are the different addressing modes we discussed those are unicast multicast mode then the anycast addressing modes so this was all about the ipv6 Thank you so much